BBC Radio Solon. Here's Tosin on the right side. There's a quite chance to put in Walcott here. And Walcott has snuck in beyond Ake. Is there any support from him? He doesn't need it. Theo Walcott puts his finger to his lips and silences the Vitality Stadium. Everton on the counter-attack. Walcott down the right-hand side. Beat Begovic at his near post. And after 10 minutes in the second half, it's the 10 men in front. record under threat here and the uh, cherries are switched off and all of a sudden Everton had two men spare Sigurdsson to the back post for Keane Powers Them both out of the game. Sermon drags the defender away. Kings floats the ball in towards Wilson. He's pushed over. That's a penalty. No doubt whatsoever. Wilson barged in the back, wins the penalty. He missed the last one. It'll be Joshua King who gets the responsibility this time. You're absolutely right, Chris. It was a great ball to him. He was going to take it down on his chest. I think you have just seen it again. He's definitely barged in the back. Try and reduce the arrears here for the Cherries, which he does into the bottom right-hand corner. Pickford went the right way, Joshua King halves the deficit, big 15 to come, Bournemouth 1, Everton 2. Well, we're in this for a real exciting last 10-15 minutes. To be delivered by Ayn, in towards the head of Callum Wilson, off the post, the rebound is in! Nathan Ake! Once again, finds himself in the right place at the right time to score a dramatic goal against the Merseyside club. He did it in the same six-yard box against Liverpool, and there he was against Everton to tie it up at 2-2.